Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to make a keylogger application which can basically log your keys, understand and describe what kind of key presses you have. It could be your passwords, it could be your whatever you're typing on the internet and then log those keys and then send it out as an email. So let's see how this program works. I'm going to open up my command prompt and I'm just typing the keylogger application and it's a Python file. So it started running now. I can go into Google and just type in, hey, how are you doing? My password is do 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 Okay, so let's go into my email and this is my email and it's designed, the application takes your key and then sends it as an email. Hey, how are you? Are, how are you doing? How are you doing? My password is ASTFGHAL, blah, 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 blah. So this is basically going to take whatever you're typing and then send an email after every few seconds. So we can continue doing this. I'm just typing some rubbish to see what it comes up. So come back onto the email and you can see that it's happening. It's giving out new emails, new with new messages, and new things that we typed, and it's also keeping record of what we typed in the past. So that's what this application is capable of doing. Again, this is just for education purpose, for us to understand how these key loggers are built, how these key loggers applications are made. And again, it's a simple Python application who's able to do such powerful things. Uh, coming back to our command prompt, if we just press the escape button it'll stop the program otherwise it will continue to run now let's see how we can build this so the first application is we want to make this keylogger.py file and uh, let me make this a little bit so that i can explain it to you now i'm not going to pretend and show you how i'm going to type this application there's no way i can remember all of this but to explain how or what this application or what this Python file is doing, I'll describe it over to you. So the first thing you want to do is import by input and this is the main library who's capable of recording your key presses and you can do that by using, you can install it by doing pip install by input on your command prompt. So just do pip install by input and it will download and install this library for you. And this pi input library has these two functions called as the key function and the listener function. These two functions are the most important people in this program and it is capable of recording all your key presses for us and then also display it. Now I'm going to comment out what we know, what we know, don't need for now so to make it simple to understand for now and then we will go into the email section. So the first thing is let's just understand how the key presses and the key logging works out. So once you imported the Pi input keyboard library, you get the key and the listener, right? This listener is something that's capable, that's designed to listen and basically takes all your key presses. And this listener function can take the presses and the releases. So it's basically going to call these functions when any key, any key on your keyboard is pressed or released. So it just calls these functions on press and on release. So now you can define two functions, two functions called on press and on release. So these two functions are now defined. Now you just need to do what the whatever. Now you have the functionality. Your program is able to read any key press and it's also able to see any key was released after pressing so it's able to record both those two functions and now it's on us of how we use those functionalities to our advantage so what are we doing here on the release function we are checking if the release was for an escape key or not if it was for an escape key you should close the program you should return false and it will stop the listener and the whole application will stop running if it was an escape key because you do want something to close your program so that's our flag if the key was an escape key it will close out of it 
However, if it was on a press key, whatever key is pressed, it should record that. And this key is basically the, the key that was pressed by the user and we will create an array, array of keys. And this array we will use to record all of our key presses so that later when we need to send the email, it can send out those emails to us. So it's basically going to read all the image, all the keys for us and then use the global keys variable here, keys and count. I'll go into the count section later, but for now, we're just appending this key array with whatever new key presses we are getting. So good. Now, the moment we get that key, we're just appending it onto the keys array. So we are adding to the array and we're, before we add it, we're converting it into a string variable because we are gonna be sending that key as an email later on. So we want to make it as a string so that the message can be coded in a string variable. So once we have the key appended, we, all, we are gonna save all those keys. Now, this is a count variable. And what we did was every time the count goes beyond 10, so and if there were a key presses of more than 10, it will, count, it will call our function called email. Right now we have commented it, we will open it again for us. So this function email is going to call the email sending loop, which will take all the messages, all the keys that were pressed and then send out as a message over to our email. So that's good. Now coming down to the email function, it's going to take all the keys that were appended in the array and then we're going to do some processing, a little bit of processing so that we can then make it readable for us. The first thing you want to do is this key presses are separated by these colons and these single inverted commas is not what is what we are not interested in. So we just replace the single inverted commas with nothing. So we are replacing. We're just doing some processing. This is just you know, a little bit of outside makeup touch. We're not doing much in the code part. We're just doing a little bit of replacing so that the message that comes to us in an email is very much easily readable. So I have key dot replace and it's able to replace the inverted commas. And if there is a key press that looks like a space, then do put a space. And then if you find any other key presses like your shift key press, your space bar, your space bar you're changing it as a space of course, but you also have shift, you have control, you have backspace. So all these key presses are redundant. We don't need that. We just need the information about the text that was typed. So we remove everything which is other than text and replace it with nothing. So once we have all that key, we're just adding it to our message. This message is what's going to be sent out to the email. And we are now calling a new loop called send email. Send email with message will, will be able to send your email to the message or send the message to the email that you had provided. So that's very much what we are capable of doing here. And let's import this send email library. Now let's go into what that send email library is all about. Okay, now coming down to the send email.py file. This py file, this email for sending e application is just designed to take whatever message you give and send it out as an email to whatever email address you provide. So you have this import and you're importing SMTP library and the SSL. So these are both server connections that will help you connect to your Google account and you do need to install them. You can do that by using pip install SMT live as pip install SSL. So it will take care of installing those servers for you. And once you have those servers, you're just using hello, which is EHLO. This is basically a startup connection between your computer and the Gmail server. Now, there's one thing you need to do before we get into this. 
open Google and whatever account you're trying to do that. For this application, I would suggest you to open up another different, completely different Gmail account, which is not going to be that useful for you. Because this, for this purpose, you have to reduce the security levels in your Google account because whenever Google or any, whenever application tries to connect with Google, Google tries to verify the security and authenticity of the connection. And since our program, it's a .py file, it's nothing nothing too crazy, and it's, all, it's considered as risky, and Google will not allow your Python application to connect to your email. And for that purpose, we need to go into Google's connections and search for less secure apps. So this is the con this is the function control access to less secure apps. This is what you have to do. Go into and log in with your own account, and then go in and follow into these ex these instructions where it says manage access to less secure apps. So where you can give access to your email so that your email can now communicate with less secure or risky applications. So for that purpose, open up your own account and do, do something which is not so useful where uh, this email account is not going to you know, cause any problems to you. So once you have the send email message, and you have the sender email and you have the receive your email. So these two emails are what is important for us and the password, the password of your sender's email. That is also important. So you're just specifying the email that you're using to send and your the re receiver email and the password. And once all this information is given, it will take the message. And this message is coming from our key logger. And the message that we typed here, this message is going to go into the send email.py file. And it's going to take that message and then send an email using the server.send email function. So it's going to take the sender's email, the receiver email, and the message that we are trying to send and then send, make that email and send it out to us. So it's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, these, these functions might look very new to you, but uh, trust me, you don't need to get into the details of it. It's basically just making those connections. So these are SMTP connections where you're basically connecting your Python application with the Google server and allowing your Python application to use this platform as an email draft. So you're typing your draft and also sending it out so that Google can accept your draft. So that's that's all it is. That's as simple as that. So uh, these are how keylogger applications are built. Let me know how you like this video, if this is something that you're interested in. And with that, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.